Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and in today's video I'm going to be getting you fresh for spring with a spring clean series. So it can be really hard to get the motivation to do a full spring clean and it can be really overwhelming but I'm here to give you some tips and tricks and to just boost you along the way and I'm going to break it down into a few videos so it's not so overwhelming. You don't need to do it all in one day because let's be honest who has got the time and energy for that? I mean seriously no one is blitzing their house in one day it's not realistic and you just have to tackle it one room at a time so in today's video we are going to start with the kitchen it's the worst one no one likes to do the nitty-gritty when it comes to the kitchen clean it's gross so we're going to do this and I'm going to help you so in my bullet journal I've just made a list of everything that I need to get done in my spring cleaning checklist challenge and this is the kitchen so we're going to make a start I'm going to break it down for you and we're going to get this done let's do this so the first job is going to be to empty out my cupboards and clean and wipe all of the shelves something i recommend that you have is boxes like this some storage boxes you can just pull them out and you can see what you've got so it's easy for day to day but i'm going to go through each of these make sure all the food's in date and look at what i can start using up because obviously we don't want anything to go to waste and then i'm going to give the boxes a clean out and get everything back in the cupboard all nice and clean So that is the first cupboard done. Didn't really take me that long, but we've got more to do. It's really good to have a good look and check that your food is in date. There was stuff in here that I didn't even realize had gone off. Um, so I've got a big pile of stuff that I need to throw away. Not really too worried, it's not stuff that we necessarily eat all the time anyway, so I probably won't even be replacing it. But it is a shame that we see so much food go to waste. And I am gonna do a video about what we've done to like eliminate that so this is all of our way so far i'm not too concerned that a lot of these were free sources that we got from mcdonald's that we've just saved just in case um so they're all gone off they're going in the bin i'm gonna make my way around and do all of the other cupboards now next cupboard i'm gonna work on is this spice cupboard this is so unorganized it's not how i want it at all so that's gonna be my next job in here is to sort the organization out in here but first of all, I just want to see what we've got, what I'm working with, and just get it all cleaned out. So, let's go. This is empty, like, why do we put empty things back in the cupboard? Like, really, why do we do this? I don't know if you have seen my Howden's kitchen tour video, I will link it below for you, those of you who haven't, but what I really love about these cupboards is that you can adjust the height of the shelves to fit your needs, and that is definitely something I recommend you should look for in a kitchen. Sidetracking, but it's really important that you have something that fits your needs. Okay, so this is possibly my favourite cupboard in the world and it was really organised and I feel as though Kieran has infiltrated this and now it is a mess. So it needs sorting out, we're going to do it, we're going to get it all nice and neat. And can I just say, I've been rinsing out my cloths after cleaning these cupboards and it's disgusting. You don't realise how dusty and dirty it gets inside the cupboard so I definitely recommend you do this at least twice a year maybe four times a year like every season change just depending on your time but definitely at least once a year please clean your cupboards out inside because you don't realize how dirty they get it's gross i found this in my other cupboard which is a white wine vinegar this is amazing for cleaning i'm going to use this little bit that's left in this bottle to clean out my drains later so i'm just going to set that down over there um, but yeah white wine vinegar brilliant for cleaning do you think we have a problem like, am I the problem? 
as of hot chocolate. Oh wait, there's more. More hot chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you this because I feel as though this is a problem. Why do I have so many tubs of hot chocolate? That's just ridiculous. I mean, I buy the hot chocolate, but I feel as though that's a problem. Um, like that's empty. Oh, it's got like the tiniest bit in there. I think that's what the problem is. We have the tiniest bit in. Um, what I'm gonna do is, the ones that have the tiniest amount of hot chocolate in, I'm gonna leave out and then we can get them used up and then there's like one tub of hot chocolate because this is why it's getting so full because they have like seven tubs of hot chocolate. space now there is a few things I'm gonna add in like these honeys because they've got like a tiny bit left in they just need to use it up but I'm not gonna throw them out just because it's a tiny little bit left in um, and then just a few of the snacks I'm gonna just put in here but I could do with like a tub which would be a lot better which is I'm gonna put on a to buy list now because otherwise I will forget so it's always handy to have a running list of things that you are going to need to go out and buy to help with your organization and I wouldn't recommend you doing it beforehand because you may buy things you don't necessarily need unless you definitely know that you have the space for it So now that I've finished all of the top cupboards, I'm gonna have to get Kieran to do the very top, top cupboards because I just can't reach them. Uh, we're gonna make a start on the bottom ones. So the drawers, which we have our plates and cutlery and pans and everything. So we're just gonna take everything out, give it a clean and put everything back in. Helpers are good, sometimes they're not. Don't be afraid to throw things out because sometimes we just keep onto things for the sake of it. I've just thrown away four frying pans because we never use them, they've lost a lot of the stick, we've bought new ones and we've just never thrown them out because just in case. So now they've gone and I've got more space in my pan drawer and it allows for more organisation and accessibility. So it's now onto my corner cupboard which is going to be a more awkward cupboard to clean because this has these runners and it has some of my bigger items. So I'm going to take everything off, give the shelves a wipe down and then see if I can get my hoover extension in the back. Um, but because of my back issues and my mobility, I can't really get in there, so I might need to get Kieran to do that. shelf so I'm gonna try and get one of those under sink shelving things but for now this is just where we're at we're gonna get everything out give everything a wipe down as we have done everywhere else and see where we're at if there's anything I need to get rid of we're gonna get rid of it These little caddies that I've got that I have for all of my storage in the kitchen are just from B&M. They're super cheap and some of them are already labelled up. So this one says kitchen on there and some of them say like tidy or you can just turn them sideways and then you don't need a label if you didn't want one. 
Make sure you utilise the space on the back of your doors. I put these little hooks, little command hooks on them so it doesn't damage the doors and then I use these little caddies to store extra things like cloths that I'm using in my kitchen. What I'm going to do whilst we're doing this spring clean, I'm going to just give all of my cloths a good wash and then I will store them either in here or in this top bit here. This is where I need the extra shelf really, but there's not much space to get like an extra level. So I'm going to try and find some baskets that will actually stack and that might solve my problem there. But other than that, I'm quite happy with this. Oh, dishwasher tablets. And I just store my dishwasher tablets in a little container. So now that I've finished cleaning out all the cupboards, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. I'm going to clean the top of the unit up here and all the shelves, working my way down the back splashes and the counters, making sure to clean underneath the cupboards because sometimes that's something we can forget. And then I am going to make a start on my bigger appliances such as my microwave, don't worry I know how to say it really, my microwave and my oven and my dishwasher. I'm just gonna have to wait for the dishes to be done in the dishwasher. I like to start with the cupboards first because even though the others are probably the toughest jobs and you might think let's get the toughest jobs done first, I just always feel I like to get the thing done that has the most impact done first. Um, and the oven is like one job, whereas I've got like all the cupboards done and I'll get all the fronts done. If I don't get it done today, I can leave it for another day. It's not the end of the world, but I'll feel a lot better if it's just the cooker that's being left rather than all of the cupboards being left. So that's why I do it in that order. So let's get cleaning all of the outside. On this side of the kitchen, I don't actually have an above the cupboard bit because it goes all the way to the ceiling which is the best way because you just don't get any dust up there. So I'm going to do the microwave because this is on the side. Now what I'm using is this Osmo uh, microwave and fridge cleaner. Now one problem is the top of it has broken so I'm just going to pour a little bit onto my cloth um, and then we can sort of just wipe around with that. I've cleaned all the units from top to bottom now. I'm now up to my oven. So I've just turned it on to 100 degrees to heat up and it's ready. And I am going to be using this Dr. Magic. Now it's been a while since I've used this so I can't remember whether it's any good or not. But you turn the oven off, you spray it on the shelf literally. I just have the bottom bit that I need to clean out. And then you leave it for 10 minutes and then you wipe it down and it should all be good to go. So I'm gonna do that now and in the 10 minutes that that's brewing I am going to clean my extractor hood because that's been soaking in hot water and then I'm going to clean the bars that go inside of the oven and I've just realized I've only turned one side of the oven on like a prat because they have two sides Nicole you're an idiot turn the other side on so now onto the worst job I think cleaning all these and that oven cleaner's got right on my chest that stinks so I'm going to go ahead clean all these oh my god I can't breathe and then clean out the oven and we're almost done.
that has been a tiring day. It was light when I started, it is now pitch black outside, but we got it done. Um, there was only one cupboard that I didn't manage to get done and that's because I needed so much storage for it. So I'm gonna go out and get that tomorrow and just finish that one cupboard off. And one thing that is missing from my cleaning of my kitchen is my refrigerator, only because I do that every week anyway and it's in my utility room. So I'm gonna include that in the utility room video. So don't think I've just like forgotten all about the fridge. One thing I would recommend is buying a good oven cleaner. That cleaner I was using was not great and my arms are now killing me. Um, my wrist is all swollen up so I'm gonna have a long bath and just chill out. And we are definitely ordering takeout tonight because there is no way I am cooking in this kitchen when it is so sparkly clean. It feels so fresh, it feels so good and as much as I'm really tired now, I'm so glad that I've done it because it's done and no one can take that away from me until they all mess it up again. I hope my video was motivating for you and I hope that you get your spring cleaning on. Even if you just get one little bit done, just get one cupboard done, do it over a few weeks, it doesn't even matter. So I will be coming to you with more videos for my spring cleaning challenge. I will put a list of everything that you can check off that you've done within the kitchen in the comments box below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.